What is going on y'all? So today we have a really cool and different video for you guys. So for the past couple weeks and for the next couple weeks here in South Texas, it is gonna be horrible, horrible weather. A lot of lightning storms, flash floods, we've had horrible hail, a lot of rain, and we've actually even had a few tornado warnings. So it's just been really bad, crappy weather for these past couple weeks. And like I said, for about the next month, it's gonna be bad as well. And there's just not really a good opportunity for us to get out on the water anytime soon. So me and my dad were thinking of a cool video we could make for you guys, and we had an idea. So in today's video, we are gonna be starting the first part of a multi-part video series where I'm gonna be showing y'all how to make DIY lures. In this first part, I'm gonna show y'all how to take clay, modeling clay, make your own clay molds, and then melt down old artificial um, soft plastics that you normally just throw away and make your very own customizable artificial soft plastics. I've done this before off camera and they work really well and are really awesome. And I can't wait to show you guys how to make them. Before we get started in today's video, I would love it if you haven't already, if you'd smash that subscribe button, like this video, comment down below, please share my channel. After you subscribe, make sure you hit that little notification bell to the right of the subscribe button. And then also, if you have an Instagram account, I would love it if you'd follow me on Instagram at Hudson's Fishing Adventures. Now let's get started in today's video. explain to you guys the reason why it's so cool to be able to recycle and make your own customized soft plastics from old ones. So not only is it just awesome that you can reuse your old soft plastics, but it's great because say you're walking down a river, right, and you find some old soft plastics. And I mean, you should always pick up litter and everything, but it's really cool that you know you can pick up some of these, collect them, and then make your own soft plastics. And I mean, I'm talking like legit, like we're gonna have clay molds, like the pros do, we're gonna melt them down, we're gonna add garlic salt, we're gonna add crawfish scent. I mean, we're gonna make these like, and not only look, but smell and stuff and feel like they would if you got them brand new out of a package from one of your favorite fishing tackle stores. So the first thing you are gonna need to making all this stuff is a microwavable cup for melting down your soft plastics. Um, I might get a bigger one later, but this is the only one I can find right now. Um, you're gonna need, obviously, um, clay. I like to use this Crayola air dry clay. My Aunt Tiffany actually gave it to me, so big shout out to you. I know you're also one of my biggest channel supporters, means a ton. So this is just Crayola air dry clay, works really well. Then I have some Jack's Juice Crawfish Spray. Some simply organic, you know, you gotta be organic for the lures. Um, garlic salt. Then I just have, as you saw, just a bundle of disgusting slimy artificials. And then last but not least, I just have a little pencil, which is just what I'm gonna use to help um, kind of make indents in my clay and stuff. Let's get started. Okay, so I think I'm gonna try and make a Senko for the first bait. So, just gonna make this a little bit thinner so that I can fit in a couple more Senkos. And this pencil is gonna be really good for a Senko. I'm basically making a little miniature Senko, like a four inch Senko. Um, it's gonna resemble a lot like a little Ned, artificial Ned. So here is what we are working with. This is our first mold. So we have one, two, three, four little slots. So for the second mold, I'm thinking we'll make a, try and make like a curly tail grub if we can, if that's possible. Um, I would definitely want some sort of grub. I think it'll look really cool. We're gonna make this mold a lot smaller so we can make like maybe three or four little baits as we did in this one. We made four right there. The bait will kind of go like this. This is the main body. Obviously, the jig head will be right here, and the hook will go through it. And then you have two little paddles kind of behind it. So that is what we were looking at. 
three little grubs, four Senkos, and I think we're gonna make one, one more bait. So right over here, I actually have a clay mold that I made a long time ago. Um, me and my dad did a little competition. This was mine, HFA right there, Hudson Fish Adventures, and this was his. <laughs> he made a crazy, crazy bait. But I actually think that for one of them, I might make one more little mold for like one or two little jigs or something like that. But I actually think for the third mold, I'm gonna try and legitimately use this mold that I was kind of joking about because it's a pretty good looking little bluegill. And if I adjust the side a little bit with some clay, we might be able to have a little paddle tail action. So, so right now we got three things, um, molds, Okay, here is our last bait mold. I know it's very hard to tell. <laughs> it's a little, pretty rough job, but we are gonna go ahead, I've decided we're gonna let these dry overnight, just cure, get really hard, and I'll pick up the camera tomorrow when we begin to melt down some artificials. Should be pretty interesting. It is the next day, you guys. It's pretty early in the morning, but um, here are our clay molds look at that this is the kind of net rig slash miniature senko one and just look at that it's pretty hard i mean still barely gooey but you can see like if i press really hard i can make an indent but i mean it could have maybe used another two hours to dry but it got a solid 12 hours to dry and this is the hfa one that i had already made and dried this i think i'm most excited to see what this one turns out this is our little crappie jig one and we have the very rough looking, but hopefully works out good, um, kind of bluegill swim bait mold. So now I'm gonna get into the process of showing you guys how to melt down your artificials, adding the spray, scent, stuff like that. Um, so all you're gonna need for melting down your artificials is a microwavable cup. Um, you know what, I think this one's a little too small, so we're just gonna go ahead and Okay, there we go. We've got a much larger cup now that you go in the microwave. Then you're gonna need, or you don't need this, but I recommend it, some scent, and then some garlic salt or normal salt, and then obviously our giant bundle of artificials. So I'm gonna go meet you guys by the microwave. Oh, and also you should probably get a mask because like I said, melting down these artificials can release chemicals in the air for a little bit right around you. Um, so I, what I actually like to do is Cover up the thing, I'll show you more on that. Cover it up so then the fumes don't get all the way out. Wear a mask and then I go outside and actually pour it. But uh, let's get started. Okay guys, so we just made it to the microwave. I've got all my artificials and what I'm gonna go ahead and do is put this in the microwave for a few seconds. And actually right before I do that, I'm gonna add a little bit. Whew, my mom's gonna love that in her coffee cup. Um, I have permission, but Jack's Juice Crawfish Spray. And we're gonna add a little bit of garlic salt. Now we got our molds on standby and then I was hoping, yeah, we do have a paper plate here. So I'm gonna put a paper plate on the top of this and I'm gonna put it in the microwave. Um, I'm gonna start by just doing 30 seconds, 30 seconds, and then just kind of mixing it with this fork. And once it gets really liquidy, like there's no chunks, I'm gonna rush outside with the camera and the molds and pour these baits. Okay, so we've got our molds here and I'm gonna go ahead and pour this real quick. There we go, we're just pouring. We're getting the mold as best we can. Things ain't right, but it all ends tonight. Yeah, it all ends hey, tonight. Hey, last night. There's a fire, and it burns so bright. Yeah, Since spraying all of them, while well, it's still wet, sprinkle on some salt. Phew. So now we're just gonna let these dry for about um, probably five or 10 minutes. 
Okay, you guys, so we've got our baits, and they're feeling pretty dry. I think we're going to try and peel them out. So right here I've got our Senko. We're going to try and go for this one first. What? No way, you guys. Okay, so I'm going to cut off the excess here to separate it. Look at that. So that is the beginning of our little nettery kind of Senko. Doesn't look like much now, but you got to keep in mind, this is from just liquid, like, nothing. I mean, there was no shape to these ruined baits, and now we've got a general shape of a bait. So I'm just going to sit here and kind of cut out, cut off, I mean, the excess artificial Well, you guys, here are our finished products. Our just freaking amazing looking little artificials. These are the little net rigs, kind of little Senkos. Then we have our three crappie jigs, our big old bluegill swim bait, and our little bottom creature bait. Just, I mean. So obviously this is part one. I showed you guys how to make your own clay molds and melt down old lures and make awesome lures. And in part two, I'm gonna show you guys how to make a really awesome hard bait. I've made crankbaits, top waters, um, little poppers, all sorts of stuff like that. So in the next video, part two to this DIY series, I'm gonna show you guys how to make your very own hard bait. And then in part three, um, either in part three or part four, we might do one more DIY lure after part two, but Anyway, soon coming up, we're going to go fishing with all of the DIY lures. And in the next month or so, we have some big fishing adventures planned. So make sure you guys stay tuned for those. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please drop a like and a comment down below. Also, if you haven't already, I would love it if you'd smash that subscribe button and also hit the little notification bell to the right of it and hit all notifications. And also, I would love it if you'd share my channel. And if you have an Instagram account, make sure you follow me on Instagram at Hudson's Fishing Adventures. All of this is completely free. It just helps support my channel and it means a ton to me. And thank you guys so much for all the support you've already given me. These lures turned out so amazing. I actually just packed them in to some little Ziploc bags to make them look even more like a professional bait. We have the our big swim bait and our creature bait in there. We have all our little net rigs in there. And then we have our little crappie jigs. I'm probably, I did actually have some extra artificials um, left over. So I'll probably, like I said, the molds, you can just keep reusing them. That's the cool thing about clay molds. So I'll probably remelt some of the extra artificial and make some more. Um, I definitely want to make some more of the crappie jigs. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching this video once more. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys stay tuned for part two because in part two, like I said, I'm going to be showing y'all how to make a hard bait. And again, like I said, we do have some ginormous fishing adventures planned this summer. So make sure y'all stay tuned for those as well. I'll catch y'all on the next fishing adventure.